I took this picture <coughs> from my Blackberry at the subway yesterday. Cyberbullying. Whatever the problem, talk to us. Kids help them. Cyberbullying. Kids help them. I don't know if this is the way I was brought out, made an effect on this or what. But in my opinion, this is overprotecting beyond belief. What is this? So somebody say you suck on my video, I automatically go cry on kids' cell phone if I'm a kid? Huh? What is that? Unbelievable. They can advertise just about anything. Hey guys, it's Triple C. Um, I'm at work right now. I want to make this video quickly before it gets busy down here at work. So, been very busy last weekend and Monday because uh, we decided to set up a Linux box to control our uh, internet network here at work. It's an internet cafe with uh, 30 computers. What was happening was we upgraded to T1 line and we also have a DSL line. And a T1 line, it's not very fast. It's 1.5 up and down. Of course, uh, T1 lines have great latency, so it's really good for video games. But the problem was, if anybody comes in the store and start downloading, and they drag all the bandwidth off from all the gamers, and people starting to lag, and that wasn't very good for the business, and it caused a lot of problems. So we decided to uh, make this modification and to help the situation. Okay, so what's happening right now is we have both DSL and T1 connected to this Linux box. Uh, I'm not very technical on this since it's my buddy Andrew doing the job. But then i uh, just give you a quick overlook on what is it about. And, and later we'll go to the back. I'll show you what it looked like. So anyway, so basically how to set up. And then whatever that's uh, HTTP or other downloads or web browsing, general purpose, you automatically direct the connection to the DSL. And when it comes to video games, uh, going to play online games, etc., etc., you automatically goes to T1. So you split uh, the connections evenly. And also we set up a limitation on each of the IPs. So nobody takes all the bandwidth out from the whole connections. So simply, it's a setup that uh, nobody leaks. That's the main purpose of the setup. So nobody leaks in the store. I think people can do their things happily. And uh, what we're we looking at right now is the T1 connections. There's nobody in the store right now, so it's not really being used at all. And um, of course we have the other line, the ADSO line. It's not really doing anything anyway. But let's just test it up. Just to show you a little difference. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna download something. Okay, so the ADSL line, it's a 5 megabyte line, and it's limited to around 100K. Which will stay 100K stably. And then as you can see in my uh, status monitor, it shows exactly what's going on on my line. So not only it limits it, and it also shows me the status exactly what's going on in my network.
the program is called PFSense by the way it's a Linux distro for uh, for this purpose there's all kinds of options there's all kinds of options that you can play with if you know you're networking well enough there's so much uh, so much options that you can do with your home network, small business network and of course since it's Linux it's totally free it's really messy back here well, it's not my fault. Period. So man, they never really care. They want things to work. That's all they care about. So I'm not gonna talk too much about the settings here and the setups, but here it is. It's nothing but Pentium 4. Even for Pentium 4, it's overkill. All you need is the computer. Pentium 3, Pentium 2 doesn't matter. It doesn't take much power at all. Uh, have some RAM and um, a few. And network cards, one for the line to come in and the other two for the line to go out to a switch to share. That's all it is. It's a very simple job. And the ISO of PFSense is only around 50 megabytes and the installation is extremely quick too. Yeah, so if you want to set up a small home network um, to share the um, uh, internet load, especially say if you're living with, um, if you're renting a room with your roommates in the house, everybody sharing the internet, somebody's downloading. If they can be able to set up a setup like this, it will probably be very, very good for everybody that nobody ever likes, even if you're trying to. Yeah, so that's that.